music. Oh, yeah. That's the Heavenly Symphony Orchestra. I like them. I like the Heavenly Choir, too. Uh, just between you and me, I really prefer the Forest Choir. So, come on. Come on in. Don't be shy. What is it? What? What? Oh, the hat! Ah, uh, well, I've been working on a tough case. Uh, you might have heard of him, uh, Rick Perry. Oh, I think he might be a lost cause. Might be working for the other team. That's a local reference, folks. If you don't get it, you can thank me. And you would if you did. So now, you know, let me get a little more comfortable. much better. So, what do you want to know? God, why haven't you made your existence and goodness unambiguously evident? It's not like I was hiding. Uh, you ever seen a squirrel bury a nut? Ever seen a dog chase a cat? Ever seen a pretty girl or a handsome man? Well, duh! There I was! Dear God, how old is the universe? It's getting to be about one universe old, so, uh, look out. Why would you create something fully knowing that creation will undoubtedly suffer? Yeah, suffering. You know, I never said that I was all-knowing or all-powerful. All that stuff. Those are things you said about me, usually when you were trying to butter me up to ask for something. And you know, creation was kind of a rush job. Now, if I'd have had two weeks, well, two, not mean to be rude here, um, there are a few things I would do different today. Uh, I might do it different next time. But, you know, I'm working on it. You do a little maintenance, uh, fix a little now and then, and uh, I take it day by day, try to make it a little bit better. What is the function or purpose of our existence? If it is for God's amusement, am I wrong in being angry? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, for my amusement. Um, I was bored and lonely. So really, the only true sin is living a boring life. Is it wrong for you to be angry? Well, I'm not fond of it, uh, especially if you're mad at each other. I don't, I, you know, but not if you're mad at me. I'm big enough. I can take it. Here is the love of my life, and how can I make her mine? Let me check the records. You know, I lost your card. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I'll get right on that. So keep looking. You might be surprised. What do I have to endure to reach perfect happiness? Oh, that, that's a good one. Jeez. Um, it's tough. I don't know. Do you ever taste cognac? Wonderful drink. Um, but the very best ones tiny little bits of unpleasant flavors. Uh, too much, and they're bad, obviously, but, but if they completely lack that, they are lesser. If you only felt happiness, only felt happiness, well, you, you wouldn't feel anything at all. It can be arranged. Is there intelligent life places other than the planet Earth, and if so, what do they think or feel about God? You think there's intelligent life on Earth? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, there, there are other intelligent life forms. My, my next appointments are with a Vulcan, a Ferengi, and a Time Lord, so yeah. Um, yeah, you will find out soon enough. Uh, when the time comes, just remember, Klaatu Barata Nikto. It's important. How can I explain to a parent why their baby died? Okay, uh, respect for that. I'm not gonna make a joke. And I hope, I hope you never have to try. Have you read the Bible and if so, how many stars out of five would you give it? Have I read the Bible? Hell, I wrote seven percent of it. The rest is crap, but you know, um, that's actually not bad as holy books go. Seriously. Is there an afterlife? If there is, can I opt out? Yes, there will be a time after your life, and no, you can't opt out of it until, until everyone does, and maybe not even then, because there will be a time after everyone's life. Dear God, why do you exist? What's your purpose? Why do I exist? You know, you lot are always into the whys, aren't you? I always liked that about you. Um, well, let me ask you a question. What better thing could I be doing if I wasn't busy existing? Why do you allow less than helpful things to happen to good people? You talk like I'm always running the whole show. You know how much work that would be? Look, sometimes I'm just watching the show. How low will the human population need to fall? And how fast to reach a level which is sustainable? What level of technology will society retain afterwards? Okay, now that one, that one's really up to you. It could grow and be sustainable or fall and be sustainable. But the bigger it gets, the more you have to respect each other and the more you have to limit yourselves to make it all work. And, uh, nothing is truly sustainable if you have my kind of timeline. One of my prophets said, in the long run, we are all dead. Uh, the universe reaches equilibrium in the heat death. We shuffle the cards and start again. It'll be better next time. Uh, promise. Cause. I'll have more practice. Your comments are appreciated. They'll help me make it better. So should feel good about that. What does it indicate, dear God, when I have no questions? Because life appears to make perfect sense to me? I think it means you're applying for my job. And, um, I will file your application, along with all the others. Why do you allow horrible things to happen to me when I try so hard? Sometimes bad things happen, but uh, let me tell you this. Shit doesn't just happen. There's always an asshole involved. What the fuck were you thinking? I was thinking... Could the sun be just a little bit yellower? Oh, sorry. If you could have your portrait painted by any painter in history, to whom would you give the commission? Okay, yeah. Rembrandt, really like his stuff. Uh, and the Greek, Parasios. Have you ever seen any of his... You haven't. They don't exist anymore, but... Take it from me, he was really good. And uh, Hokusai, the printmaker. Um, but, the other day, I saw the crayon drawing by a little girl in Romania, seven years old, I think. Um, I'd probably go with her. Of is incompatible with Christianity? If so, how? Well, yes and no. I mean, they're equally true because they're equally wrong, but just like all the others. What are mosquitoes good for? Bats have gotta eat too. Which of those things I regret were truly my fault? And when I was I the victim of something someone else should regret? Okay, what you're really asking about is sin, but you're, 
you're asking it in kind of a mealy-mouthed way, where maybe it's not really your fault, it's somebody else's fault, uh, which it is sometimes, but less often than you think. So, is that helpful? Does that help? No. No, I didn't really think it would. Are you separate from us, part of us, or something else? If so, what? In other words, are you transcendent or immanent? Well, uh, somebody called me, um, Emmanuel, which is kind of immanent. Uh, I said it was within you, uh, among you, um, around you. Uh, we're still trying to figure out what I meant. Uh, I don't think you're ready for that one. Have you ever considered? neither transcendent or imminent, but rather emergent. How and why were we not worth talking to in some respectful way? If I spoke to you in plain English, well, the, the birds and the bugs and the bears wouldn't understand. The cats wouldn't understand, and, and I love cats. I love every kind of cat. I just want to hug them all, but I can't. I can't hug every cat, or maybe I could. I'm sorry, I was thinking about cats again. Dear God, please explain the physical laws of the universe. For example, what is dark matter? What is matter? Never mind. What is mind? No matter. I cribbed that from Homer Simpson. I mean, I want to mention that because comics don't like it when you steal their jokes. Uh, they feel that joke stealing should be left to the professionals. Why? Always with the whys. I got two words for you. Why not? Do you exist? For you? Um, no. But. My cloud is always open. Don't be a stranger. Uh, but I, I've got this uh, Mr. Spock coming up, and his questions are always... Uh, try telling a Vulcan the universe isn't logical. This has been a production of the GBC, God's Broadcasting Company. Next up, a panel discussion featuring Moses, Mithras, and Gilgamesh discussing the significance of the Great Bull of Heaven. Okay, so I had some fun with this. I hope you had some fun too. Hope I didn't offend anyone. It wasn't my intention. Um, but I did have a bit of a point. Uh, one of my most serious criticisms of Orthodox Christianity, which is the faith I'm most familiar with, is that from the Garden of Eden to Armageddon, God doesn't laugh, not even once. And you know that's not right. All you have to do is take off your clothes and look in the mirror to know that God has a sense of humor, and not a very elevated one. Now, I know YouTube skews young, and if you're 17 or 23 and fit and athletic, that might not make a lot of sense to you, but give it time. So I hope I gave you something to chuckle about, or something to think about, all through the night.